Hello everyone! Ito yung ating pangalawang example for solving systems of nonlinear equations by substitution. We are given with x squared minus 2y is equal to negative 6. Hayaan natin na ito yung maging equation 1 natin. Tapos yung pangalawa natin is 2x plus y is equal to 3. This is our equation 2. Kaya yung equations natin ay tinawag na nonlinear kasi meron tayong makikita na variable na hindi lang 1 yung exponent meron tayong x na may exponent na 2. Gagamit tayo ng substitution method para makuha natin yung values ng ating x and y. Ngayong napangalanan na natin yung ating dalawang equations as 1 and 2, pipili tayo ng isa at yung variable na gagawa natin ng substitution. Ang tip ko sa inyo is piliin ninyo yung mas madali. Kaya we select our equation 2 kasi wala tayong exponent. Tapos sa variable naman, ang pipiliin natin ay y Kasi solo lang siya sa equation 2. Kaya ang gagawin natin para siya lang yung matira sa isang side ng ating equation, ililipat natin si 2x sabila. From positive, this will become negative. Kaya yung equation 2 natin will become y is equal to negative 2x plus 3. Ngayong meron na tayong value ng y, isa substitute na lang natin to dun sa y nung ating unang equation. Kasi kapag kaginawa natin to, matatanggal natin yung variable na y Tapos, masasolve na natin yung value ng ating x. Kaya, ito yung papalitan natin, magiging negative 2x plus 3 na siya. Working on our equation 1, this will become x squared minus 2. Yung y ay magiging negative 2x plus 3. Tapos, yung right side natin, pareho pa rin naman siya na negative 6. Tapos, simplify na natin to, let us perform yung multiplication. Yung buong negative 2 na, ang imumultiply natin kay negative 2x tsaka kay positive 3. Kaya ito ay magiging x squared, negative 2 times negative 2x, negative times negative, that will become positive. So this is positive 4x, tapos yung negative 2 times positive 3, that will become equal to negative 6. And then this is still equal to negative 6 yung nasa right side. Nagkataon na meron tayong negative 6 sa left side tsaka dun sa right side. Kasi kapag nilipat natin to, yung equation natin ay magiging x squared plus 4x tapos yung nasa right side na negative 6, eto naman, this will become positive. Kaya maglalagay tayo dito ng plus 6. Kapag ginawa natin etong part na to, this will become equal to 0. Kasi negative 6 plus 6, that is equal to 0. Kaya we write down x squared plus 4x is equal to 0. Nagkataon lang sa example na to na pareho sila. Pero kung hindi naman, magkakaroon tayo ng constant dito na kapag ganun yung nangyari, kukunin natin yung value ng ating x by methods ng factoring. Pwede tayong kumuha ng common factors, pwedeng by trial and error or quadratic equation. Pero dahil ganito yung nangyari dito, pwede na natin siyang isimplify by transferring positive 4x dun sa kabila. Kaya ito ay magiging x squared is equal to from positive, this will become negative 4x. Kasi kapag ginawa natin to, pwede nating i-divide yung equation natin dun sa common factors nila. In this case, x lang naman. Kasi kapag ka-divide natin yung ating left side, tsaka yung right side by x, x squared divided by x, kapag nag-divide tayo ng pareho ng base, tapos meron tayong exponents, ang gagawin lang natin, kukunin natin yung difference nung nasa numerator, 2, minus yung nasa denominator na 1. And that is just 1, kaya yung exponent ni x is just 1, or simply this is x. Tapos yung nasa right side, if we divide, x divided by x, this is 1, kaya yung matitira ay negative 4, this is the value of our x. Ito palang yung nakukuha natin, we still have to solve for the value of our y. Again, pipili tayo sa ating original equation kung ano yung mas madali, Again, pipiliin natin yung ating equation 2. Tapos pwede nating isolve yung value ng y by using this equation. Galing lang naman siya sa ating equation 2. Dahil may value na tayo ng x which is negative 4, ipapalit na lang natin siya dito. Then we can solve for the value of our y which is equal to negative 2 times ang x is negative 4 plus 3. Then we perform our operation, this is equal to Negative 2 times negative 4, parehong negative, ang sagot ay positive 8 plus 3. The value of our y is just equal to 11. 
ngayon meron na tayong values ng x at y. Para masigurado natin na tama tayo, let us perform our checking. Pipili ulit tayo ng equation na masimple again, yung equation 2. Para masigurado natin na tama tayo, yung value ng x natin, ipapalit natin dito sa x ng equation 2, tapos yung y natin, 11, ipapalit natin siya dun sa y nung equation 2. Then, titignan natin kung tama yung equation natin. Isulat natin yung ating equation 2 dito sa baba. We have 2x plus y is equal to 3. Then, ipalit na natin yung values ng ating x at y. This is 2 times ang x natin is negative 4 plus ang y natin is 11, then this is equal to 3. Simplify na lang natin, 2 times negative 4, this is just equal to negative 8 plus 11 is equal to 3. Then negative 8 plus 11, that is just equal to positive 3 is equal to 3. Then dahil equal sila, masasabi natin na tama yung values ng x at y natin. So given our nonlinear equation, the value of x is negative 4, tapos yung y naman natin is 11. And this is the process kung paano tayo magkocompute ng values ng x and y if we are given systems of nonlinear equations. Hello everyone, I am Sir Kenneth of STEM Teacher PH. Kung nakatulong sa'yo itong video na to, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa ating uploads. Bye!